local communities in the nation. And in this Right Site video, I am going to show you around Naples and give you my top five things to do when visiting this beautiful city. Now, Naples is an extremely wealthy city. In fact, you will see hundreds of multi-million dollar homes and the vacationers down here are very wealthy as well. But during this video, I'm gonna show you five things uh, that will cost you little to no money and you will truly enjoy your stay here in Naples. So these are my top five sites when visiting Naples, Florida. First thing I would recommend doing is making your way down to the center of Old Naples and exploring the beautiful neighborhoods that surround the city center. I would recommend getting on a bike and doing this is a great way to go up and down the streets, see the beautiful tree-lined streets and the multi-million dollar mansions. If you don't have a bike, there are plenty of places uh, to rent a bike and also if you don't want a bike, you can rent Segways and three-wheelers. There's a lot of options around uh, Naples to do. So, I would highly recommend the first thing to do, explore the community. Number two on my list and a very popular destination is the Naples Pier and also the beach that runs along the city of Naples. And this is located on what is called Paradise Coast in Florida. And once you make it down here, you will see why it is nicknamed the Paradise Coast. The third thing on my list when visiting Naples is to go through their two premier shopping districts. One is the 3rd Street District and the other is 5th Avenue.
So this is Fifth Avenue. It's about four or five blocks long and it is filled with high-end stores. And the only thing we're going to be doing today is simply window shopping and just enjoy walking along the street and people watching. One of my favorite things to do on Fifth Avenue and throughout Naples is to check out the cars. This is a very wealthy community and you will see all sorts of really cool cars like uh, Rolls Royces, Porsches, all sorts of uh, cars everywhere. And uh, here's one that I'm thinking about maybe buying my wife for Valentine's Day. It's a Porsche that <laughs> only costs $208,000. Right along Fifth Avenue is the William Ravis Real Estate Company. So if you're ever thinking about moving to Naples, you could check out some of their properties. This looks like a pretty nice one right here. Looks like it's a five bedroom, five and a half baths for just a mere $4.1 million. This is the 3rd Street Shopping District, which I like a lot better than the 5th Avenue area for a couple of reasons. One, it's in a neighborhood area, so it's very quiet, and also it's only about two blocks from the ocean. So this has a much better feel. The shops and restaurants are still very high end, but it's a great place to walk around, people watch and window shop, and you might can even grab you a snack at one of the restaurants. So I love just walking down 3rd Street, taking in all the sights, going in and out of the shops. I in particular love the palm trees, the live oaks, and the big banyan trees that line the streets. In fact, behind me, one of my favorite banyan trees in the middle of town. Fourth thing to do when visiting Naples is take a trip into Tin City. Tin City is full of little shops and restaurants and you can enjoy an hour or two just strolling around looking at all the items that's being sold by local artisans. Tin City sits right on the riverfront. It's a beautiful place just to hang out. And also it has three buildings with about 30 or so shops and restaurants. It's a great way to get out of the heat, maybe buy a few things for your family back home. Let's go ahead and go on in and I'll show you around. One thing that I really love about Tin City, it's just the right size. There's only about three dozen uh, stores and restaurants. Many of them are very unique. They have a candle making shop, they have a magic shop, a lot of uh, clothing shops. So it's a great way to spend a couple of hours of your day. All right, when you're visiting Tin City, you have to visit the friendliest ice cream store in Naples. Uh, what's the name of this, Royal Scoop? Uh, serving Royal Scoop ice cream, and they tell me it's the best uh, in the city. And I believe your favorite is the chocolate caramel fudge brownie ice cream. I gotta have that. All right, so let me have a scoop of that. 
Ah, cup or cone? That's a big decision. I think I'll go with cone. Yeah. Oh, more decisions. <laughs> I'll search the colors. Uh, let me have. Uh, that's too chocolatey. This plain one right there. Oh, freshly made. Just this thing while I'm trying to watch my waistline. My wife doesn't want me to eat much. <laughs> See that's why well, that's your favorite. That is excellent. <laughs> so you got to come down to uh, what's the name of the place? M&M's Cafe. M&M's Cafe. They sell Royal Scoop ice cream. Proudly serving Royal Scoop ice cream. Proudly <laughs> serving Royal Scoop ice cream. Don't miss it. Now my final suggestion on visiting Naples is to find a great place to eat. Now you can find hundreds of restaurants all over Naples and most of those restaurants are pretty expensive. But this video is about exploring Naples on a budget and I found the ideal place. It's called Takira San Julian and it is a local taco place that advertises that it has the best tacos in town and I would have to agree. So let's go on in, show you around, and see what we can find to eat today. Takira San Julian is an outstanding restaurant. I've had uh, tacos in Mexico and uh, the Caribbean, other Latin American countries, and these tacos are every bit as good, maybe even better than any that I've ever had. So you not only get an outstanding meal here, but it's also a great value. This is the 3rd Avenue Shopping District, uh, and I like this better than the 5th uh, Avenue. The first thing I recommend doing is make your way down to the uh, center of the city. That guy's going down the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> I've had... 
So I've had uh, tacos. Takira. The first thing I would recommend doing when visiting Naples is come down to the uh, city center. <laughs> and the final thing that I would suggest doing while in Naples is to find a great place to eat without a lot of motorcycle noise. <laughs>